Hi there and welcome back. Let us do a conductivity heat example using Octave. So we are given that a furnace wall is constructed of a fire brick with a known thermal conductivity K of 1000 watts per meter Kelvin. The dimensions of the furnace of the wall it is 20 by 20 meters squared, which is the length and the breadth, and that's our area, with a thickness of 1 meter. If the temperature on the internal surface of the wall is on average 125 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the outside is ambient at 25 degrees, what will be the rate of energy leaving the furnace through this wall? So we want to calculate Q. We are looking at a conductivity problem and conductivity heat is transferred through solid surfaces and fluids. Remember that fluid is anything that flows, so A being one of them. Solid surface in this case is our furnace brick wall. And also, if we touch base on thermodynamics, you know that it tells us the first law, energy is conserved. And second law tells us that heat will travel or flow from a hotter material to a cooler material. Making use of Fourier's law, where Q is the heat transfer, A is the area normal to the direction, dt over x is the temperature gradient, and the heat flux can be expressed as heat over area. Using Octave, I am going to write down everything for myself. We are given that. Fourier's law equation can be expressed as Q over area negative K times T2 minus T1, which is the temperature difference, divided by the thickness. If we make Q subject of the formula, we will have this expression here, it's a lot of brackets, multiplied by the area. We are told that area it is 20 times 20 it is squared k it's a thousand watts per meter kelvin we are given t2 to be at 25 degrees celsius if we convert this to kelvin all we have to do is at 2.73.15 we're just going to add 2.73 so t2 will be 298 Kelvin. T1 will be 1298. So we don't know our Q. All we can do is use this formula over here to solve for this problem. Octave is case sensitive. So since I used small letters here, I might as well use small letters here as well. We need to clear R, clear CRC. I am going to place a multiplication sign here. And a multiplication sign also over here to show that k is multiplying into this bracket and also a multiplication sign there let's also define our x1 which is the thickness to be one meters i think we have everything got it so Fourier's law um, it's expressed as q perfect is equals to the thermal conductivity k multiplied by the temperature difference divided by the thickness and the entire equation here multiplied by area got it to make Q subject to the formula, if I run my file, perfect, I'm getting a very huge long number here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to divide this by a thousand. Just going to put a dot sign here, run my file, perfect. So we are getting 400,000. Since we divided by 1000, our answer is basically in kilowatts. Had we not divided by 1000, our answer would have been in just watts. And it's a very, very long number. So I hope this really does make sense. Just to re-clarify what I'm talking about, perfect. So if we don't divide by a thousand, we get a pretty, pretty um, long number. Um, but if we divide by a thousand, it makes our answer more simpler, which is 100,000 kilowatts, since we did divide by a thousand. I really hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.